actually started writing screenplays first, and I began writing children's books not long after I was working in New York City at a publishing company where I got the chance to write what became my first book. I write nonfiction and fiction, but I've done more nonfiction so far. And I have been a superhero fan since I was really small. And I never outgrew it. I still like superheroes. So when I became a writer, I was looking for a way to incorporate that interest. And I also like to write stories about unknown pockets of history. So these superhero books allowed me to combine both of those interest into one pursuit, the superheroes and the untold stories. I do call my picture books, especially the nonfiction picture books, I call them picture books for all ages. I try to write a book that will appeal to both young people and older people so that maybe an adult who's never heard the story would read a picture book for pleasure, even though it will be very quick. My advice for young or aspiring writers is very simple. Right. So many people come to me and say, I want to be a writer, but they're not actually writing for, for, for pleasure. They're not trying to hone their craft. So you can't be a writer without putting in the hours. So I tell people to start today. And if you can, carve out a little pocket of time every day, or as many days as you can, where that's your writing time. And I also encourage young writers to read a lot. And you just have to be ready for people to say no to you and not let that discourage you. How do I find inspiration for writing? I'm just such a consumer of stories that I'm constantly being inspired. When I see a good movie or read a good book or even just a good article in a magazine, I mean, that just gets me excited about telling stories of my own. So it's a constant, I'm constantly, I'm in constant inspiration mode.